Hey, what's happening, party people? It's Cisco here, and here's a video for you. Okay, so first order of business is I did have to dye my hair. Um, I uh, recently, or a couple weeks ago, got a new job, and I've been wearing a wig to work, and that was becoming miserable. So the other day, I reshaved my head, and I dyed my hair blonde. All right, now on to the important stuff, I mean the video. I got this idea last night, uh, and what I'm actually gonna do today is I'm gonna show my all of my con badges from the past, uh, at least the ones I have, because I am missing a couple. But I've taken the time to sort all of my badges in chronological order, starting from my first con back here, and we're just gonna see what all this mess is about. Okay, so first up is the very first convention I ever went to. Um, it was a long time ago. It was, uh, this is a little embarrassing. Uh, this is Anime USA 2011. So it was way back in the day. This was back when it was still at the Hyatt Hotel in Crystal City. Um, and I did, I wrote Solix on it. <laughs> because I was a dirty homestuck and I was cosplaying Solix and that was like early in homestuck so it was still cool. <laughs> Alright and next uh, equally equally embarrassing I have got my Katsukon 2012 badge which was my second convention. It says Aridin and Bora on it also from homestuck. I was still homestuck garbage but it's you know it's a memory and the badge is cute. I like when cons have cute badges. Alright, and next I've got, this is one of my favorite badges, I think it's a uh, Otakon 2012. I always liked Otakon's badges, they always seemed like super legit. That might just be me, but it's got a Gundam on it, so that's cool. Alright, and next we have uh, the one time I went to this convention. Um, it was called, it's called SPX, I don't even know if it still happens, I kind of presume it does. But it was a small press convention, so there was like lots of web comic artists and stuff like that. I think I I went with some friends, and I know um, a web comic that I liked. The artist was there, so that, it was fun. I only went for like a day, but it was interesting, to say the least. All right, and then we have the next Anime USA, which I think uh, this should have been the first year at the location it's at now, at the at the Marriott in DC. I think it's a Marriott, anyway. But yeah, it's cute. I love the AUSA mascot. She's adorable. Alright, and then we're into 2013, which we have Katsukon 2013. I stopped writing Homestuck names on my badges, so you should be proud of me. Little, like, how old was I? Little 17-year-old me stopped writing Homestuck names on my con badges, mostly because I don't think I was cosplaying Homestuck at this point. Alright, and then this one I think is the last Otakon I actually went to. Um, I'm planning on going this year because it's in the new location, uh, so I'm very excited about that. I I'm probably going to be doing some, o like an Otakon vlog sort of thing, if I can do that without being too embarrassing. <laughs> but anyway, this is, yeah, this is the Otakon 2013. It's a little crab. So cute. Alrighty, then we have yet another Katsukan, Katsukan 2014. And then I'm actually 100% sure about where this one goes, but this is my uh, MAGFest badge. This is the one year I went to MAGFest. I think it was 2014, if not maybe 2013, but I think it was 2014, so I kind of just have it like in the pile in that spot. But it's cute. I like that it's like a little shield design. It's cute. Oh, and uh, one badge, rather not a badge, one pass that I'm missing, not missing, it's in a box in storage, um, is I went to the very first Awesome Con. I went to number one and two, and I've got two here. That's why I was reminded of this, but I've got the first Awesome Con, the admittance, I think it was only two days, and the admittance was just like a little wristband that you had to keep on the whole weekend. So, it was, that was fun, but it kind of sucked, but I think it should be in my box because I pinned it up on my corkboard. 
But yeah, and then I've got this is uh, Awesome Con 2014, which should be the second year of Awesome Con. Either way, there it is. They stepped up their game, obviously. Alright, and then next we have the super edgy looking uh, AUSA 2014 badge. Uh, I am missing a couple AUSA badges. I believe. I'll get to that in a second though. Alrighty, and then I've got like one of the more modern ones. I've got Katsukon 2015. Which is kind of when I started going by Disco. And this one still is covered in Team Fortress pins <laughs> that I never took off. But they're cute. I love this artist. Okay, and then next we have the the first and only Necocon I ever went to. Um, it was it was fun. It was a con my girlfriend had gone to for a few years, and then she took me. Um, and it was fun, but I'm probably never going again. <laughs> And yeah, so that was 2015, so I'm actually, I didn't, I don't think I bought a badge for AUSA 2015, so I don't have a badge for that. So next, I've got my Katsukon 2016 badge uh, with more pins on it. I've got like a good cop, bad cop, and like a Bonnie, so they're super cute. I love good cop, bad cop. Okay, I actually did buy a badge for AUSA 2016, so this is the badge for that. It's really cute. Like I said, I love the AUSA mascots. They're so cute. And then we have the most recent Katsukon, Katsukon 2017. And then my, my last one, the one I've gone to most recently, which as we, as you've probably heard me say in my videos, was uh, AwesomeCon 2017. I definitely love the art for the badge this year. It's really cool. And my girlfriend bought me this little Ballora from one of the vendors because I was cosplaying below and the vendor was nice enough to give us like a dollar off because I was in cosplay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, I've got lots of con stories I want to share with you guys someday. Uh, but for the most part, that's all I have right now. Um, Otocon is in like a month, so I'll have one more badge to add to my collection. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up for me. I hope you enjoyed watching. Leave a like if you did and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. But if not, I hope it just made you happy. Have a great day and stay beautiful. Bye-bye.